Hello. I should be live. Everything should be good. Hello, hello. Uh, how y'all doing? It's it's been a while. Hold on, let me uh, get some of that background. There you go. Hopefully it's not too loud. I know if the volume of the music is too loud. But hello, it's been a while since I've streamed something on my own. And yes, I still haven't made a starting soon screen. And I will work on it eventually, soon, hopefully. I do plan on it. It's just that I felt like streaming more than I felt like working on stream stuff, like um, visuals and such. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna sit and uh, play something. So yeah, I'm your host Suicide, and welcome to Dark Side the De D Dark Side Detective. Yes, first try. So this is a. Uh, hold on, let me actually switch. This is a little, a pixely game about detectiving uh, with like occult stuff from my understanding. I haven't looked into it much because I like going uh, into games blind as usual. But I was like, oh, that's, that seems like an interesting thing to stream like on a on and off day. And just be like, hey. It's time to chillax a little bit. Time to chillax a little bit. So everything should be fine. I hope the volumes are okay. Um, just in case. Ah, ah, ah. It's fine. I mean, if it's not. Okay. So, again, I don't know exactly what anything is in here. I, uh, but we will be doing some detectiving. I, I miss doing detectiving I like using my big brain to solve things Twin Lakes Police System Volume 13 Case Files Malice in Wonderland and Tom Alone Okay, I really like this Okay This is settings Let me actually check the settings stuff. Oh, can I lower the sound a little bit? Yeah Thank you Okay, hold on Let me actually do that because uh, I've been lowering in my mixer which is not ideal Okay, so it works, but... Ah! Ah! Ow! Okay, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. I think I had a better volume before, but... Hey, what... <laughs> what do you know? Maybe, maybe just be like that. Maybe we just have to kind of deal with what we got. Well, for now, it's going to be like that. I'll change later if needed. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Uh, police corruption on? What is this? Silhan, this is going nowhere. <laughs> you should give up on this. You don't learn, do you? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, that, that's that's hilarious. Graphics, super high def, virtual reality, spooky vision. Your machine can't run this. Ah, uh, this is, this probably does nothing, but hey, that's that's cool. Okay, well, I don't need to look at the controls because we can learn as we go. Let's start with Malice in Wonderland. Malice in Wonderland, case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jonas Re Jones, not Jonas. That's a different name. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Julie is there with further details. Okay. Let's see where this brings us. How to play. Detective McQueen, I think that's my name. Uh, closest cases. By take, wait, hold on. By talking to characters and solving puzzles. I like puzzles. Left click to examine items and talk to characters. Left click on inventory items for more information. Drag items onto the scene to use. Drag items. Okay, so this is like a point and click kind of deal. Right click to skip dialogue. I don't need that. Hopefully. Hint McQueen can sometimes wear items. Okay. 
Your progress is auto-saved as you play. That is nice. Please do not quit the game during transition. Your program may be lost. Got it. <laughs> okay, hello. Officer Dooley. <laughs> Whoa, almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Hey, I'm not sneaking. I'm literally just walking and standing under the rain, getting all wet and soaked. Dooley, you watch me drive up. <laughs> uh, I had my siren on. Uh, you waved at me as I pulled in. Uh, I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Oh, great. Let's get started. Oh, okay. So I can't exactly just walk. I just point and click. Got it. Squad car. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popo Moto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this game already. It's very charming. Anything to say? After you, detective, you know, whenever you're standing in this rain, stops being fun for you. Oh, no, uh, being in the rain is great. Oh, hello there. We have no eyes. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? <laughs> Excuse you, I am a respectable detective. Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? Shut up. I hope you don't smoke around with your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I am rarely around my kid. Oh, this guy's an asshole. What about this painting? Nice schooner. Ah, uh, you dummy. It's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. Schooner is a sailboat, Julie. Well, I didn't know that. What about you, Mr. Jones? So, how can I help you, detective? Oh, I can choose things. Okay. Uh, yeah, talk, uh, tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. Uh, she is seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So, I'll leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Okay, so I need to talk to the nanny to know more about Alice. Ouch. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice it? Uh, how come you didn't notice she was missing? I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. Well, I, I think that your taxes paying my salary means that by your taxes, I am uh, actually meant and forced to do my job, which in this case requires you to tell me where you were. So I gotta investigate. Also, not giving details only makes you look more shady. Well, they also pay the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. <laughs> Fine, call this number, they'll watch for me. Lusty Bell's booty boutique. <laughs> Classy stuff. Oh, Bell's fun memories. Oh god, Dooley. <laughs> I mean, where, where was he? A uh, bell shop? What? <laughs> uh, wait, why did I get matches out of that? What? Wait, what? Why did I get matches out of that? Oh god, there's places. Oh, he's following me. Uh, hello. Let me look at the clock real quick. This reminds me of my own grandfather. He was a clock too. Your grandfather? <laughs> Oh, uh, your grandfather was a clock. What? No, he had a clock. <laughs> Shame. I thought I'd finally found something interesting about you. Oh, ouch. But I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. <laughs> ouch. 
Oh my god. Okay, let's see in the closet. Maybe she's hiding. Oh, there it is. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, let me look through your junk. Hope you don't mind. Hmm. A black light bulb. May as well take it. Why did... Why, why a black light bulb? Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. Good night, we'll be finding this kid. Well, we got that. Anything to say about this? <laughs> Did you follow me into this closet? <laughs> uh, you may have needed backup. <laughs> uh, duly done change. Actually, uh, I, I, I should probably not say that. Okay. Okay, the studio, uh, the study is locked. Locked, I wonder where I'd find the key. Maybe I could just ask for a key. How, how about that? Oh, actually, anything to say while we're here? Does it seem odd to you that this folk don't have a kitchen or bathroom? We did not? Recession hit us all hard, Julie. <laughs> aye. Aye, aye. Give me just a second. Hey. Okay. So, anything? Do you got a key, perhaps? Yes. Mr. Jones, I would like to access your study. I'd love to help, detective, but I seem to have misplaced the key. Sorry. Okay, I'll find it on my own. Uh, I've taken enough of your time, and I have nothing further to say, detective. Can you leave me be? He really doesn't care. Ooh, we can go to the attic. What about the telephone? What an odd place for a telephone. Right, wouldn't you have it downstairs? Would that be more convenient? Oh, they must have run out of places to draw. I mean, uh, put it. Dr draw? Oh, oh, meta jokes. Got it. Took me a second. What about those flowers? Place this fancy to serve something nicer than plastic flowers. Well, real flowers are a little bit more of a drag to take care of. Oh, you're right, they don't have a kitchen or a bathroom. Well, uh, oh, hi. Hi, fancy meeting you here. Uh, poor woman must be worried sick about her kid. Oh, find her, detective. Hold on, um, I haven't talked to you. Hey, are you free to help wallpaper my sister's house this weekend? I can do the first floor, but I need somebody to hold the ladder while I do the, while I do the second. I think she means inside the rooms. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Really? Thank goodness I was not looking forward to wallpapering the roof. <laughs> oh god, he is it's just great. Okay, so do you have anything to say, nanny? Oh, you have a lot to say. Give me just a second. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Let me look at the photos first. Might find some hints to maybe have something more to talk about. <clears throat> Alice and her mom look quite happy here. They, they, yeah, they look very happy. They look incredibly happy. What about the drawers? Seems impolite to go rifling around somebody's drawers uninvited. Well, I mean, I'm looking for clues. What about the bed? A water bed, very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. I got a strange page. Well, it did. Uh, it's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Okay. Anything from matches? Uh, these are from Bossy Bell's Booty Boutique. Oh, that's how I got the matches. He sent, he ended over the matches because they had the the name of the thing and the number probably. Okay, this kid didn't win out on the father's stakes. Poor kid. Black light bulb for black lighting things. Can I actually put it there? No. What about here? No. Okay. Just making sure. Okay, we can talk now. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Uh, sure. What's Annie doing in the master bedroom? Why, why are you here? 
Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No, sorry. Sorry. Okay. How long have you been working with the, for the Jones? Joneses, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is that how it works? It's not really the best time. It's always a good time for grammar. <laughs> anyway, answer the question. Well, long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Sure. So you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? Oh, right, because uh, we need to go into the study. I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes! <laughs> uh, that's wonderful. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. Well, thank you, I needed that. I would like to look in the attic and the daughter's bedroom. Oh! Okay, hello. You are crying. Ah, oh, there's so much to do. Okay. I don't have much use for dozen pink socks. Well, you never know. Pink socks can go nice with uh, something to wear. I don't know. You can put it on the teddy. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. Stupid, no nothing bear. That's kind of insulting, that poor bear. Maybe he knows more than you do. He's probably seen it happen. He's probably seen it all. Uh, this is a lot of pink. I think I'd have a run of... Wait. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have a run of two. What's wrong with pink? Pink's a nice color. So, Mrs. Jones. Hello. Can I ask... My baby. My baby is gone. Okay, can you tell me anything about Alice? She just disappeared! My baby! Oh my god, is there any... You have to find her! Well, thank you for helping me, I guess. Find her! <laughs> uh, man, this could be a drawing of our suspect. He looks very blue and... Uh, 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 sticky. Sticky is not the word I was looking for. Sticky is... It's, ah. Let's just move on from that. Really? I'll put it on APP then. No, Julie, don't do that. What about this tree? Looking at this, I thought she's going to art school. That's a nice tree. What are you talking about? And... Hmm. What about this pony? I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Wait. One, two, three, four. There's four legs. What are you talking about? Are, are you okay? Okay, so... Hold on. So we have a pattern here. Can I do anything with the bulb? I don't... No, I don't want to give it to him. I wanted to use the bulb. Okay. Well, uh... Can I burn it? No. I'm not sure smoking the kid out is the way to go. Well, you never know. You never know. What about the attic? Ooh. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. But I still have some. Okay, what is in the boxes? A box marked ends broken dreams. Ah. Broken shelf. Looks like the shelf gave way recently, spilling paint and thinner all over the wall. Well, somebody has to clean that up eventually. Paint cans. This look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Well, that's what paint cans do. Definitely not for painting. This look heavy. Okay. Uh, boxes. Just a bunch of forgotten memories and broken lamp. Hmm. May not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. <gasps> Black light bulb! I hope it doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, what the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Uh, you anything to say about that? I don't like the look of this, detective. I'd have gone with a glowing green myself. It's creepier. <laughs> He's got a point. Wait, wasn't there two paint cans up here? 
Was I... Wait. Wasn't there two paint cans here? What? Hold on. Wait. Wait. Was I seeing things? We'll go... We'll, we'll, we'll investigate that in a second. I want to go to the study real quick. Locked. Wonder if... Maybe I should key it. Key presto. It, hey, presto. That's a different word. That's not a key. We're in. So, is this anything that I need to worry about? Care about? Ray Jones. It's quiet. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil, oil painting on, of... <sighs> Let me try that again. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. Well, it certainly does. An oil lantern seems to have some oil left too. I'm just stealing things. Dog statue. The statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of rude. Hey, there are only two seats in this house. He is not wrong. Don't be that, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camp. <laughs> Ah, this is wonderful. Fucking love for well, uh, breaking stuff. A nice collection of books. It does suggest that they've not been looked at in some time. A shame. You should read some books. Books are great. You can never trust a man to, who has too many books. That's what I say. How many books are too many? Uh, six. <laughs> that's awfully specific. And how many books do you own? Uh, I don't feel comfortable with, with this line of question. <laughs> oh no, he's not to be trusted. Okay. Uh, oh, this is the menu. Uh, no, resume. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going, uh, I guess, in the occult area in the attic. Because this is uh, definitely not uh, suspicious at all. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. A cutie also hello this eye bubbles blobbles hello blob how you doing also our volumes okay that sounded really loud on my end so let me actually triple check and then pow, -pow. should be fine ish let me know if it's too loud or too quiet Uh, the pattern on the wall looks worked out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Oh, yes, I have the page. I have the pattern, but nothing to draw with. Well, I have paint, Finny. Seems like a bad idea. Lantern? Paint thinner on me? Paint cans. Do you need like a, some kind of... Oh, wait, th that was in uh, Blacklight's... Um, that's Blacklight stuff, so that's not like... I can't just make it with paint, I need like a Blacklight marker or something, right? Like, that will make sense. Where would be a Blacklight market hat? It will be in the daughter's uh, room, right? Officer Dooley. Uh, There's no time for art, detective. Uh, Hold on. I am good, it's 3 a.m.-ish for me. How are you? Why are you awake? Go to sleep. Also, I'm doing great. Just detectiving right now. <sighs> but yeah, why are you awake at 3 a.m.? That's not... That, that's, that's unhealthy. Uh, black light. This looks useful. Oh! Black light marker. There we go. Okay. That, 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 that makes a lot more sense. Instead of just spilling paint thinner on it. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Uh. Okay, hold on. I need uh, you here. And then there's uh, you down there. And then... You? Here. That should do it. That should be it. Great? Maybe now is not a good time to stop doing, well, uh, anything really. 
I guess we're going in. Even if even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. Uh, I have a light. There's a roof. Oh, I need to light it. Derp. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. I got a little lantern. There we go. Okay, Dooley. Let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep first. I'll uh, stand guard out here. Okay, I guess I go in. Alice, hello. I'll be with you in a second. Wait, this is just the opposite of what we were looking at before. It's like mirrored. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Just woke up. Well, okay. Good morning, then. Broken shelf. This looks like the other attic, right down to the broken shelf. Except it's all blue and cold here. It's okay, I have a lantern. Box marked baby's first cold robes. Oh, God. That's nice. Pile of junk. Oh, look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. I want to see them. The label says old milk, circa 1880. Why would you store that? Good question. Why would you store that? Uh, Alice, what's up? Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yup. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Crash bang. Not so fast, detective. I forgot her voice completely. Oh, there's Dooley. That idiot. I knocked them out. I can't have you snooping around anymore. So I'm going to trap you here. Uh, let's take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm a legal guardian after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Oh. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side version of their bedroom. Oh, I just realized she has a gun. I literally just noticed she has a gun. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. Excuse you, I am a detective. Uh, yeah, exactly. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Uh, must have done the help. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, no. Oh, no. Sadly fair. <laughs> so what's this? An inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It uh, is, actually. Well, even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid, I think. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Good point. You have a gun. Once Julie wakes up, you and your skin will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you and drag him. Uh, wait. And wait. I'll just have to get you to drag him into here with you. That blew my brain out. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Alice, how about we fucking run? I'm scared, Misty. It'll all be okay. Oh! 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 You know what? Pain thinner! Have a taste of your own medicine! Well, that's a problem solved. Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Julie so I can tell him my pun. <laughs> oh, solvent. God fucking damn it. Oh my god. Why'd you do this? why you do this to me? Uh, pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Uh, okay, mister. <laughs> it's hilarious. I just got an achievement called Problem Solvent. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. Well, too late now. So, the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. 
Shame the nanny was certifiable, she was a lucky. Oh. Duly, she was dabbling in dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. Uh, I said it was a shame. Jeez. <laughs> English is strong with this game. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, this is great. Uh, what are you talking about? Mm. It's probably just my brain not comprehending it. It's too advanced for us. Uh, I wonder where the nanny got the occult bo uh, books from anyway. The stuff is hard to find these days. Uh, case for another... Oh, wait. Uh, case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Good point. Case closed, baby! Ha oh, oh, I wish it, it, I wish it's a solvent here. That, that would have made it, that would have made my day. Well, this is good enough, I guess. Oh, that's the first one, I think it's six total, maybe? We got, I think we can just finish the game in like one hit, which would be ideal. Tom Malone. Case summary, duly suggested a uh, visit to the library. He must have seen the strange storm gathering over it. Oh, no. Oh no. Doom, doom. <laughs> nice music, nice tunes. Oh Jesus, that's a storm. Uh, let's see. Namsuya wouldn't be blob if I didn't numb you. That is a fair point. Ahem, <clears throat> Nam's back. Okay, uh, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in, and why do you have books on you? Are you trying to be a suspicious person? Oh, case? No, I have some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swing vortex above the building has nothing to do with why we're here. Oh, come on now, detective. You're hardly gonna rest the wedding. <laughs> the things you'll try to do to justify this department. Let's get this over with. Ah, uh, let me see the statue. These statues make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this was a library, it was where the mayor kept the, her lion collection. Oh. Oh, right. That clears that up, so... Is it... Oh, okay, that says the same thing. Uh, what about the black? This is a library. What a helpful plague. It is very helpful. How many cases do we need to solve, do you think? To get a car that doesn't leak in the rain. Oh no. Oh no. It, it keeps us fresh, sharp even. Oh no. You don't know Blob, Blob numbs you. Well, uh, that's just unfortunate. It's too late now. I know Beck. We'll be done in a jiffy, detective. Yes, arrest the weather is the perfect criminal. It's always the weather. It was the weather all along that killed my father. Uh, I can just imagine like a freaking thunder strikes somebody and and like they're they're gonna be like, oh, how dare you? I'm gonna arrest the weather. <laughs> oh god, this is very. Uh, N nice and welcoming. Oh, uh, fines for being late. How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. <laughs> You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rolls are rolls. Uh, can't we come to some kind of a arrangement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye bye? Oh no. Dilly, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? Uh, no. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest a troublesome kid. A kid? The one who's responsible for the storm and, you know, the ghosts. Okay. G ghosts? What? Uh, flickering light. 
this brown nut seems they made for wait hold on like they <sighs> let me try that again these brownouts seem like they'd make for frustrating raiding conditions. Okay, first try. Sidilly never told you the truth, but I am your father. <laughs> oh no! Dun dun dun! I can't believe you got struck by lightning. I'm, I'll avenge you. I'll arrest the sweater. <laughs> okay. Uh, silent sign. Shh! <laughs> Good point. Good point. Is this your to read pile? Oh, I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so what about the ghosts? The place is haunted, you know, the usual stuff. The usual. Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. Yeah, the usual. It's chasing off the readers, I can't see why. And you say a kid is to blame. It's the only one here often enough. Suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do, or else I'll call a pair of oddball priests and a, or a questionable ghost-busting startup to come fix this. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, what books did you borrow, Dooley? He had a Rules to Rave 2. R wait, Rules to Rave 2. Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us and the law. What is it and how. Wait, and do we really need it? Hey, what happened to librarian reader privilege? Not a real thing, buddy. I take it you gave up. On the law book. Not enough pictures. <laughs> Good point. They never have enough pictures in those law books. Never enough pictures. They really should work on that. Expand their uh, um, audiences. Was that your reading? Yeah, I liked. The earth-breaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. <laughs> what is a reverse vampire? Of a what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. <sighs> I'm at the part where it's her prom night and he promised to take her, but the clocks went forward and now it's on at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> sounds interesting. What? Sounds awful, detective. Uh, yeah. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Unless I'm not. That is a very good point. Well, for now, we'll check in the office after I look at this plant. From a certain angle, it looks like Dooley has crazy hair. Uh, probably. Uh, I thought you found owning books suspicious. Right! <laughs> it is. What kind of secret stuff are you reading that you can't get it from the local library? Maybe people just like having their own books? Maybe it's a germ issue. Germs? You really will believe in anything Hollywood tells you. <laughs> Picture books, math books, exactly. Who needs to read when you have pictures? All the lights are flickering, jeez. Uh, computer. The computer seems to be broken. It's not broken, it's hollow. So they can store more books in it. <laughs> sure. Office supplies, can I take the scissors? Ever know when I'll need to cut something in half or a lazy approximation of half? <laughs> I did take the scissors, okay. There's nothing else I can steal myself needing, okay. Well, you have anything to say? I really enjoy the access to secret areas this job gets us. Staff only? Not on our watch. <gasps> Good point. Even the lamp is flickering. It is. I got this door is last time uh, to get out of paying fees. I'm gonna have to up the end this time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course. Oh, guy light. <laughs> yes, nice photoshopping. With just like a, a little piece of uh, tape on it. You can see the little piece of tape, that's great. 
So a reverse vampire is just a normal human? No, it's definitely a vampire that can just be up in the day and then at night he gets sleepy. Clearly. Uh, an old photocopier. Uh, can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris, Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. Oh, everyone's butt? Uh, just mine, now that I think of it. As the price of working out, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Anything in the trash? Roses are red, violets are blue. Your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. <laughs> okay. Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should go through their pockets. Uh, you know, for uh, evidence. I got a button, I guess. Good thing we went through the, 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 the evidence. <laughs> That's the perfect description of human. No, there's a reverse, um, reverse uh, the vampire, yeah. An old elevator? Where's the staircase? We have none. There was a fire and ironically the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. <laughs> That's funny. A, a, a horror? Well, I can put the butt... Oh, broken button on. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's go to reception first. This is the reception. I'm a moron. Aren't all vampires human at one point of their life? Uh, I guess it depends a lot on the lore you're uh, looking at. Some are born uh, vampires. But I I think most of the the way they do progeny is for the most part is they, they do a certain type of suck that uh, is meant specifically to turn people into vampires. Sci-fi and fantasy children. <laughs> sci-fi uh, sci and fantasy children. I, I think that, that was not like a full sentence. Oops. Okay. Uh, plant. What odd leaves this plant as? That? That's just their dead... Wait, that's just the dead tree where Doris dries her stockings. Oh. Oh. I see. Anything to say about the statue? Don't blink. Uh, it's the statue is not meant to blink. Unless you're talking to me. What did the rabbit and the priest talk about in the library? I don't know. Nothing. Libraries are a place for of quiet, respect, and solitude. Which they were both respecting. You need to work on your stand-up material. I think it was funny. Y you got this, Dooley. Keep it up. Oh, uh, little Devon. What about this? Wait, what about this one? The words are short, and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. Uh. Oh, is this suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range, and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it, because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Uh, that sounds like a very specific thing, and there's a floating book there, and we're not gonna talk about it because I don't want to talk about it. I'll look at this robot. I hope you. <laughs> I hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Right, there was a time when uh, pet robots were a thing. Those were good times. You're very knowledgeable about vampires, almost like you are one. Hmm. Ah, uh, no, definitely not. I am a. I'm not a reverse vampire for sure. I am a. I'm a normal uh, a person. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, cough, cough. Uh, too many responsibilities. Feeding it, rubbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. <laughs> too many responsibility, indeed. Why would you teach it that? I want to be on the good side when the inevitable happens. Good point, Dooley, good point. What about the train? I've always loved trains and trams, not monorails though. Thinking they're better than everyone because they're up in the air. <sighs> good point. Why your parents don't love you? Oh no, this is the for children area. 
Children section, no! Nobody, not one person needs kids to be talking like there is somebody invisible with them. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, there's, uh, yeah. Is that the same teddy bear? There it is. A, B, C. As easy as four, five, six. Uh, yes. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I heard what happens when people who do it. Wait. I heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Indeed. Daddy, you look familiar. Have I arrested you before? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Bubbles got their eyes on you. Oh no. <laughs> Runs away. Uh, maybe, maybe I have. Dinosaur, do you have anything to say? This is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Oh. What is a Viewmaster? A Viewmaster? I love those as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find the use. It's not like this that I miss walk in the beat. <laughs> okay, so do I just equip this? I have to find some film to put in first. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Bad baby incites a riot. Good, good. There's a cold draft coming from the vent. That can't be good for this kid's health. Probably not. So, hello, Mr. Floating Book. Anything to say to me? Oh, that's not right. <laughs> good observational skills. Hey, Trick, what magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic, it's, uh... Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be back. I just imagine full-grown man tackling and handcuffing a small kid's teddy bear stuffed animal. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's definitely what's happening here. I can see that happening in this uh, game, for sure. Swords and Shield. They made a Pokemon game out of this. Two Pokemon games, I guess. If we leave the immediate... If, the... if we lived in medieval times, we'd be leaving the adventures of Ye Dark Said, Bailiff, and Esquire Dooley. Sure. I never understood the section. How can something be fiction and science? Okay, sci-fi. I don't know what to do with you sometimes. Uh, get me a race? I'll think about it. Uh, uh, fantasy books. Gloom Tales of the Sad Venture. <laughs> oh no. Chessboard. You wanna play? What a great game, eh? Yeah, funny looking draught pieces though. Uh, sure. Library card. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semiological puzzles to get this. <laughs> That's funny. Chessboard pieces are moving. Wait, are they? Oh, they are! Oh, I didn't even notice. I literally just noticed because I was paying attention to literally everything but the chessboard. Oh. Oh. Well, uh, I wonder who's winning. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger until I found out that they had to go into space. <laughs> Looks like some of the rocket's aluminium is coming off. That could be useful. We just stripped out a uh, rocket. It's now naked. Fantastic orbit. Downed in moonlight. Strangled by her own bra. Oh, orbit, not orbit. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. So, can I put this? Let's call that plan B. Oh, that's funny. What about that? Okay, we'll explore the next uh, floor, I guess. Reading room hobby. So, reading room and hobby DIY. Why will that be in a library? Professor Theodore Library, inventor of the library. <laughs> nope, not one word of that is true. 
I I think there's some word of that that is true, probably. Chessboard pieces moving was the first thing I noticed. My attention span is very like my attention is very specific to things. Like I noticed some very specific details, but like some very important stuff that is like plain to see just goes over my head. I don't know how that works. Do you have a one brown coat you wear all the time or a wardrobe full of the same style? Going by anime logic, I will say both of those things. Let's go into hobby DIY, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> okay. Hobby books. Turning duct tape into pants, make your nethers sustainable. <laughs> God damn it. How to DIY yourself. I'm really good at DIY. I got my sister to do it for me. And I, I, I don't think... <sighs> yes, Dooley, yes. I don't see why we're sticking around here, detective. You couldn't wait until I picked up the glue to say that, no? Sometimes I feel like you don't see me as anything more than a haha -ha sidekick. You're not wrong. He looks like he's jumping. You jump too if somebody shoved a pole in your behind. Fair point. Paintings. Wait a minute. These are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags and his deep pockets. Rich enough that he can pay a child artist for original works, this guy. Jeez. Uh, yes. Why are this fake? Wait, fake brushes? No. Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. Good point. I'll take the glue. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's not duct tape, but it could be useful. Probably need it for the aluminum or aluminum thing. Yeah. Well, we can move now. <laughs> He's on to us. <laughs> Yes, needs to be silenced. He knows too much. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Oh, hello. My name's Rexa. I'm here to study uh, the strange goings on. I guess that's why you're here too, detective. Oh, um, sure. That's me always investigating stuff on purpose. <laughs> Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever this actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. Well, I have a little viewmaster thing. Wait, can I cut the metal strip? Okay, never mind. Clock. Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries. Wow. Libraries aren't boring. What are you talking about? I hope there's more. Wait. I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. Uh, uh, you know what I mean. Who doesn't need a chalk in the 21st century? Oh, uh, most people. Fair point. So, anything to say, Dooley? You look uncomfortable, Dooley. It's this whole reading room thing. I mean, should we be reading right now? Can I not read anywhere else? Does the room itself read? And if so, what does it read? I was brought coffee. Good timing. Uh, that was hot, that was hot, that was hot, that was hot. To be honest, I think he knows too little if I've been... <laughs> yep. I mean, it's Julie for you. And if so, what does it read? You have a special mind, Julie. Chief Scully says that it's why she assigned me to your department. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Oh, microfilm room. Yes. Is there a film that I can... Oh, why is it glowing? I'll look at that in a second. 
Uh, microfilm really is broken. If I want to look at the microfilm, I'll need to find another way to do so. This fine have a view, Messi. How would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? I don't know. Do you think there's such a thing as a mega film? Oh, because they're called micro. God damn it. Let's see what we can find online. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. Enter password. Looks like I need to figure out the password. Got it. Uh, it's radiating energy, like Rex, like Rex said, I think. Maybe a clue, possibly. There's just too much here to take, given my pockets have their limits. Hmm. 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 Glue it. Uh, the metal strip it. Uh, view master it. The film is too big. It's a square peg, round holes situation. Cut it! Well, I've destroyed some historical material. Let's hope that there was a point to this. Now put it. Well, if it's, let's look at what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes recent history. <laughs> Uh, spider moths do it again. Do it again? Sounds like they were some kind of winning streak instead of having burned down their yet another stadium. Oh no. Major city stuff cuts at city library. Okay. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. Oh no. It means very few people to work here. Oh, yep, this door is now, and uh, she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. It'd be like that, unfortunately. Let me drink a little bit. <sighs> Computer stock goes up. Up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B A. <laughs> God damn it. I shouldn't have read that out loud. I think I may have just summoned something. <laughs> Crackpot Detective claims teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show the dead the walk among us. Hmm, I wonder who that is. I remember this case. What the? <laughs> oh, wow, hello. Um, hello. Who are you and uh, how did you get here? Alistair Crowley. <laughs> I am that witch. Wait, I am that which can never be unseen. The ooze from your nightmares, the nowhere of the unknown. Right, that is not very helpful if I'm honest. Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay, then I'll buy it. Tell me. Oh, nowhere of the unknown? What's going on here? I, uh, I don't rightly know. <laughs> right. But I do know that the coward Yitz is protecting a hidden room. One that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt that which is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the others lies within. The others? The others. Uh, detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... You know what? I, can, I don't even know how to explain this. Well, just... Uh, what was all that again? Yes. Secret room, mad power within, we cool, bro. <laughs> We're cool. Uh, why are you holding that view, Master? And why are you, who are you talking to? Actually, we both know it's best if you don't try to explain. As you were, Detective Nutshop. Oh, wow, that's kind of rude. Oh, now I can see the, the, the things and stuff. Hello, Yeats. Great, right, sir. A moment of your time. Another one? Another. Oh, another spirit, yes. Uh, then, with your question, I, you have uh, answered my own. Huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen uh, our travels as Crown Drill Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat? Very same. I knew he lurked here somewhere. Uh, he mentioned the hidden room? Yes, but on the matter, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. But I just want it. Not a word more, sir. Not a word more. We need to find the, the beast. Uh, hello, Gail. Are you an author too? I don't recognize you. Hey, but not like you are in 
stuff. Young toughs with their literally fiction. I wrote useful stuff like house wiring and how to do on one thing. I think you could fix the elevator. With red gear, I could A. I need a new button mind. Here you go. What's all this for? Could you use the button to fix the elevator? I can, but that won't do nothing. It needs to be conductive to make the circuit work. Aha! That should be the uh, make the button conductive. There you go. Hey, conductive button. There we go. Will this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see. It looks like it'll do the job. Just give me a few minutes to pop it in place. Thank you, Ghost, for being excessively conveniently useful. Okay, I would like to go... Okay, thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. Happy to help if it were fun... It were fun doing some... Uh, something useful again. Oh, God, that was... <gasps> I got this. I want to go down for a second and just look for ghosts. Hello. That pretched. Oh, they're playing chess, right? Oh, hey. Big fan of your work. Thanks. You. Oh. <laughs> uh, I read your detective books. Wonderfully over the top. That's it. Nothing more to say about that. I think you should read this one. I read this one and I thought it was good. What's it about? It's the story about this kid who can see dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you are. I fear I find myself in the company of rather dreadful bunch. Writers still out of them. Ah, uh, the kid? No, he's chairman. I mean the others. Occultists. Horror writers and DIY fanatics. Horror is a lot of them. Sure, sure. I sure they are. And last for reception. Anyone in here? No. Anyone? Uh, no. Okay, perfect. Bye bye. Let's go to the horror place. Oh, look. Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was. <sighs> Never mind. Oh. Of course, this one is raining. Collection of books that doesn't seem that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like how to cook a dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The internet and other fads. Architecture of the mind by Sarabellum. An MMO accountancy by be the fictional banker you always knew you were. I said that's one I would read. Oh, looks like you can get to the roof through here. Thankfully, it's locked. I'd rather not go back out in the swarm. Good point. Good point. Oh, Edgar Allan Poe. You barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play with common cliches. Your penny dreadfuls like the true horror. The best spooky, spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you, charlatan. Fraud and the trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Ah, what an infuriating man. Okay, sure. The dead person's murder. Wait, the dead person murders. Of course. Lemons for every meal and uh, the quirky killings. Good, good. Sapo, what's going on here? I didn't take this blessed book. It was the childish blighted woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it. Some more people will borrow my book over his. Nonsense. I care not for his, his, con his current zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. Sure. He is being a child. I am clearly the greater horror or writer. Yes. I throw apart the minds of generation with my essayistic horror. With your essayistic rubbish. Right. I'll have you, mate. Come at me, you sickly twerp. You should stop it. Or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. Uh, he started it. Oh, I never it was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting stop to it. Uh, wait right here. And not a peep. Yeah, shut up, nerds. 
from access to zero oxygen murderers primary oh there's more the kickboxing cult like cluster murders cannibal carnival the calvin ate a cop <laughs> did you kill them it's type first six beautiful indeed well i guess we're going back down Wait, who did they say that? Uh, p -p 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 who did they say that that, that that picked them up? That was not abuse. That was uh oh, right, she's gone. Uh, you, Blyton. Excuse me, did you still love Kraft's book? He and uh, that poor fellow won't stop fighting over which one has more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes it will stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering, and I just shan't. How am I meant to stop these two fighting? That's not my concern. If we want this book, you stop their fight. There's got to be a scarier book that there's than there's around here. Surely that will stop their bickering. Around here, Anne and very face financial ruin. Kindergarten Kate summons the devil. That sounds scary. I need a scarier book. Hmm. Library card of one smug face. Smug face Paul Conway. Can I glue it? I feel like I'm back in kindergarten art class. Oh, I got a sticky library card for whatever reason. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, what do I do with that? Oh! 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 I don't know if this is gonna actually mean anything. Uh, but she had the, the little picture here. Can I pick that up? Come on, Frank, you can do better than- Oh, come on. I thought- I thought I could just, uh, like, take that and put it on the library card thing for whatever reason. Uh, now I'm actually lost. I am genuinely lost. Oh, right. I like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? Um, no, I'm too busy reading my book to help. Sorry. Julie, can I use your card? It still has fines on it. Oh, I bet you wish you'd let me make a deal now, huh? Ah. Uh, Hmm. 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 Let me drink. Well, this voicing is <laughs> getting to me a little bit. <sighs> Why is the window onto the roof locked? For health and race safety reasons. Can I get the key? Wait, not. Why? For health and safety <laughs> reasons. Good point. Can I have the password? And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance. Doris, I need that password for my investigation. And I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized. So no. Uh, I need uh, I need to make the library card. Can I give you that? Can I have that book now? Now with the sticky no picture having card, you can't. I need a picture of myself. How do I get... Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 photocopy. I'd rather try something else first. Okay, uh, ow. I really don't want to put my face on here, do it. But I really need a picture of myself. Things I do for this job. Hell yeah. Bubbles is lurking. It's okay, you can lurk. And now, boom. It's going to be the least convincing fake idea I've seen in my ears as a cop. Take library card obtained. Let's go. Here you go. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Like this one? Oh. Well then, here you go, Paul. Paul? His name is... My name is Paul, like it says on the card. My card. Paul. 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 Uh, well, I got a trashy novel, and I think this is gonna be the scary book that I needed to make them stop, uh... bickering. I offer you book! Is this my book? No, it's not. 
What is it? The most horrific novel ever written, and it's not written by either of you. I see that. Teenage girl, blah, 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 reverse vampire, blah, 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 love story. This sounds terrifying. Its mere existence makes me sh uh, gives me shivers. <gasps> you agree that it's more horrific than your works? We'll stop squabbling. Agreed? Agreed. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. I hope that poor chap doesn't know. Well, they stopped. Well, they're gone. But now what? I guess I could tie up some of the other ghosts' loose ends. Well, first of all, I need to talk with the, the one that was like, Hey, uh, they're bickering. How about you? I've gotten them to agree on the scariest book. Can I have the novel now? Good. I didn't see why you want this vile thing, but I did promise. Yeah. Oh, you ruined the kid's illusion, detective. Oh, because the book is not floating anymore. Oh, right. Uh, was there somebody in sci-fi? There was you in sci-fi. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Oh, right. Uh, you want a book? Let's call that blind with G. Oh god, ah, that uh, descriptable Ren thing that Ren describably sounds about right. Okay. Hmm. I only have a book. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Put the book back in the library. There's a slot there. My god's telling me that I shouldn't put this book back yet. i hold on to it until I know more about what that hidden area is and Crowley mentioned. Oh, right, that's what I was missing. Go back to reading room. Again, I say that you and I shall not converse while Crowley lurks. Uh, oh, right. I met your friend, Yitz. Uh, he says he, you won't stop spying on him. I find it much joyous to determine the man. I don't even remember his name. Uh, his voice. What? what? His voice, yes. He says you want into that room you mentioned. I do. I'm most bored here. I need something to do. Something to read. Why don't you use the computer to go online? Two words. Safe search. Oh, right. Maybe I can find some kind of a workaround. Please. Just stay here and don't do anything. So I need to access the computer. Uh... We need to figure out the password for the computer so that Crowley will leave. If Crowley leaves... Then Yeats will leave. I really need that freaking password. Uh, can I use the intern password? Uh... Hmm. What would the password be? It will be something about Gaia Light, right? No? Maybe? I'm still holding that thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and she just okay. I know what to do with the novel itself. Oh wait, maybe I can talk to the child. Uh, Rexa, you mentioned you were looking for stuff on the internet. How did you get pe past the internet blocks? Up uh, to something naughty, detective? Uh, me? No, but I have this uh friend who needs to get past the library firewall. <laughs> That's quite well protected, surprisingly. I think Doris was worried somebody would hack to steal her unpublished fanfiction. But I figured out the admin password so I can bypass the block. Okay, want me to give it to you so you can use it too? Please. <laughs> okay, later maybe silence. Well, we got the password now. Let's see what we can find online. Wait, I have the password. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, really? Oh my God. A Crowley should be able to browse this to his art content. I'll let him know. Okay, I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want, no restrictions. Excellent, you um, may not want to stick around for this. Oh no, right, I'll leave you to your business, so. Shut the door on the way out. I'll do just that. Let's go peek. I think I'll leave him to some, with some privacy. Yeats, he's gone now. Did I sense... Oh, wait, no. Did I sense... Yes, the beast's eyes are focused elsewhere. There is clear now. Well, clear is maybe not the term I used. <laughs> uh, come again, sir? 
Never mind, just uh, don't go into the room if you can avoid it. As you suggest. Now, what about the hidden room? I'll share where I can. There's a place hidden behind the rear section of the on the fourth floor. The source of the phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. Uh, how do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it and fix this. Godspeed, man. Hear that, Dooley? Hear what? Oh yes, of course. We need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Also, why can I hear them by using like the, the vision thing? Wait, how do you know all this? Uh, intuition? I'm a detective, man. Duly, I'm a detective. <laughs> so, anything to say before we go? I've never been up here before. Because of the broken elevator? Oh, because it's scary up here. Of course. Oh, the L book. <laughs> Put it in. Here goes nothing. That seems to fit with a curious clicking noise. Uh, wait, lever. Right, we pull this and uh, there we go. Well, there's the hidden door yes and Crowley we're talking about. Creepy door with a recurring motif if I'm, I'm not too fond of. <laughs> hmm, magic. Let me guess, standing uh, here to cover me again? You got it. Wait, you got it in one, detective. Try to avoid getting knocked out this time. Oh. <laughs> no, of course. Also, surprisingly enough, because of yesterday's stream, which was like five hours long, my voice is not doing the greatest. And because I've been talking a lot, a lot, a lot uh, in the stream, because I've been voicing and such, I think that after this one, I actually need to take a take a stop. I wanted to complete the game all in one, but this is actually straining my voice a lot. Uh, what the, what is all this? What is this? Magica, Lester Crowley's guide to the popular wizard game. Ignastic guide to ghouls and ghosts. Rituals for modern rituals. Uh, rituals, of course. These are all contraband occult books. This is quite a nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? Good question. The Necronomicon, a Cyclopean cookbook. 101 ways to get ritual stains off your carpets. Oh no. Brief history of time magic. Oh, brief. Okay, damn it. The art of pentagram drawing and a guide for syncing your coven with the moon. Okay, sure. Exposed wiring. Those loose wires seem to run on to, to the roof. Maybe I need to fix them for the lights. Hmm. So, books. The Periodic Table of Secret Magic Elements. The Pomper Catalog of Magical Components. Okay. What is that? Baseball cap. What a strange thing to find here. Cross space. Oh, small hole. I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down and see where it lands. Oh! Uh, baseball cap. No. Uh, oh, this is for the... Mm -hmm. Can I put the skull down there? Normal library fair. This... Can I put the skull down there? I hope this works. There was a vent in the kids section. Now to find where that landed. Hopefully without having caused any damage. Uh, let's look at the book first. Copy of Ripley tested or not? Uh, it seems to be open on the Summon Spirits page. Maybe if I close it, this whole mess will sort itself out. Ouch! Seems to be charged by this faulty wiring. Wonder where it goes. To the to the roof. We just figured that part out. Oh, I need to access the roof. Okay. So, what are you doing here? Like the moth to a flame, I am drawn to the eldritch energy emitted from this book. Uh, I like spooky books and electricity. Even lead candles up to spook factor. Well, okay. I guess I'll be I'll be leaving then. Hmm, we need to exit, but to exit I need the... Uh, I need the... Uh, I need a key. So, get to the children area. What's all this noise? I can hear myself reading. <laughs> uh, so kid, how do you know about the other side of that vent? What do you know about the other side of that vent? I didn't mean to do it. Uh, do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring and I found all these neat new books. 
But the new one I read was scary and I ran off. Then the ghost arrived and I... But I liked them. Because now I have friends. See, he meant no harm. Trouble, Baker. Arrest him. Breaking and entering. Into your room of illegal books. Uh, let's say both set of charges cancel each other out. Only if you get rid of the ghosts and find them somewhere else to go once in a while. You can join me in the... Blood wolves? Blood wolves? The mayor stopped paying the dead, dead, dead tax, so we had to change from scouts. Oh no. You okay with that, kid? I sure. That's great, but back to the task at end. We need to stop energy flowing into the building and into that book. You'll need to get the lighting conductor on the roof. Here, have the key. How does she know? Uh, Dooley, we're going to the roof. But it's raining outside. Uh, it is raining indeed. What about the skull? In hindsight, that was dangerous. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. You blighter that could have killed me. Except you're already dead. Police brutality, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, now that looks like the kind of place a bored kid will explore. Indeed. Okay, so we have the key. We can go upstairs. I think it was raining. No, it was uh, up all the way to horror. And then... Roof key. Here we go. I suppose I've already ducked out of one room this case, so... Wait, this case. I knew I played that card too soon. You did, buddy. You did. More of that wiring from the secret room and at least to the roof. Yeah, we're going up. Do you need me all the way up there? Scared of heights? No. Yes. <laughs> me too. Oh! That doesn't look safe. How come so much of our work is done? Oh, wait. How much... How, wait. How come much of our work is done at night and in the rain? Good point. Good question. Uh, antenna. The energy seems to be coming from here. But it's too powerful to go near. That's one heck of a light show. Can I turn that off? So, what do you need to do? Uh, get down as soon as possible. Uh, looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs to this aerial. I guess I should break the circuit, then wire the aerial to the lighting rod so the power has somewhere to go. Oh, okay, so. Hmm. Hmm. How do I break it? Ah, uh, it's one of these. Hmm. 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 No, wait. Uh. Damn. It's gonna be a problem. Uh, uh, I'm not good at these. I'm really not good at these. This isn't helping. <laughs> okay. I think we're on to something. Uh... Uh... Got it! <sighs> Ouch, my hand! Look, detective, the storm is dying out. Imagine that. 
Okay. We should be able to close the book now. Oh my god. There's no time to talk. I need to close that book. Okay, I'll just close it, I guess. Close book. Bye bye. <laughs> I got achievement, Ghost, uh, Ghost Whisperer. Oh, no. Ah. Okay. Trying to show it. Trunks filled, Detective. Though I don't see why we had to take all the, those books. Yuli, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. Hmm. We have an agreement then, Doris. You don't find me for having the books. I don't shoot a kid for entering the vault. I go back to business and hunting. You should also get the wiring fixed. Ah, fine. Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devin. Case closed. Patch, 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 patch. Okay. Well, that was a stream. Mm, let me. Shh. Ah. Stretchy, stretchy. Okay, my, my voice is dying, so I have to head here. Thank you for stopping by. This is really fun. I, I want to finish this uh, soon. Very soon. As soon as I can, at least. Maybe next time I'll be able to play Sword like, more. If I got come in, in, in this with more uh, voice rest, I guess. Before this. <laughs> and not come out of a already, like, long stream. Maybe. Like that, that they, uh, yes, 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 that. Anyway, thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for stopping by, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, bye.